Hi everybody and welcome to STEM Fridays. My name is Michaela and I work at the St. Albert Public Library and you can usually find me up at the Jensen Lakes location. I'm so excited that you've joined us today because we're going to have so much fun doing a chemistry experiment. This is a really simple chemistry experiment and you're only going to need two ingredients for it. The first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some cornstarch and you're also going to need some water. And if you'd like, you can also have some food coloring. All right, so let's get started. So today we're gonna to start with our cornstarch. And now I've already measured out my cornstarch and I've measured out about three quarter cup. Um, and I'm going to dump that into my bigger bowl here. There we go. Okay, and next I'm gonna take my water. I have about half a cup of water here and I'm gonna dump that in just right on top of the cornstarch. All right, so this is the part where it gets a little bit messy. I'm gonna take my hands and we are just gonna mix it all together. So when you're measuring your cornstarch and your water, you're going to want about a quarter more cornstarch than water. All right, so now that we have mixed this all together, let's take a look and see what it is that we've made. I'm gonna grab some right here and I'm gonna hold it up for you and I want you to take a look and watch what it does. When I push on it, the sides stay pretty solid, but it's also trying to melt back into the bowl here. What we have here is something called a non-Newtonian substance. And what that means is that this substance doesn't follow the rules to be a liquid, but it also doesn't follow all the rules to be a solid. And depending on how you interact with it, will change the way it behaves. So for example, if we take this and we squish it together really, really hard, it's going to act more like a solid. So the more force that you put on it, the more it's going to act like a solid. If we let that drip back into it, if you push down really, really hard, it's going to act and feel more like a solid because your finger isn't gonna go right through like it does with a liquid. But if we try and hold this up, and if we don't put any force on it, it's going to act a lot more like a liquid than a solid because it's just going to melt right back into the bowl. So once you've made your slime and you've played with it a little bit, I have a couple of challenges for you. And the first one is to see what happens if you add extra cornstarch or if you add extra water to it. If you add extra cornstarch to your slime, do you think that it's going to hold its shape better and it's not gonna melt so much? Or do you think it's just gonna turn really powdery like cornstarch is? And if you add extra water, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it'll hold its shape at all or do you think it'll be 100% a liquid? You can also try leaving your slime for an hour or two and seeing what happens to it. When you come back, do you think that it's going to look exactly the same as it does now or do you think that it's going to separate back into cornstarch and water and you'll have to mix it up if you wanna play with it again? Let me know what happens when you try these experiments at home and don't forget to share a picture on social media and tag us in it because we'd love to see what you've created. Don't forget to follow us on social media for more information about our upcoming programs and events like STEM Friday, which is happening again next Friday at two o'clock and hopefully I'll see you then. Bye everybody.